Now, the final concept we're going to look when it comes to playing lead guitar was something that we looked at at the end of our rhythm uh, guitar section, and it's the flat tire. And uh, we're going to take this um, not just in the shuffle flat tire mode, but also into how this builds into being able to play funky and uh, really have some freedom on your guitar to dance around and 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 breathe life in anything that you're doing. So let's start by um, looking at the flat tire in a lead roll, okay? So if you're playing uh, in the key of A, our pentatonic. <laughs> things that I want you to look at. One, mechanically my right hand is playing an up strum. My left hand has me covered. It's muting. And then with a down strum, I play the note. Up, muted by my left hand. Down, play the note. So mechanically, that's what's going to happen throughout the entire time that I play this pentatonic using up, muted, down. But watch how my left hand evolves its position as I move down the neck. Muting with these fingers. When I play... I'm only pushing down the note on my sixth string. Things are basically muted because I'm only, this finger's a little bit arched. Muting. See how my thumb came up to help mute the sixth string, and my hand just shifted there, thumb came back up, when you get to these high strings it's really hard to do, so um, you don't have to use this on every single note on the guitar, again there's those sweet spots to where any of these techniques work best. <laughs> that if I play this too slow, my hand falls out of its natural position, but I want to play it in a way that you can see it. So, so I'm going to do a, a kind of back and forth with in real time so I get my hand positioned so you're actually seeing what I would really be doing if I were playing. And then I'll slow it down as I can to show you things that I want to emphasize. <laughs> up here. It starts working its way up. Now I'm really kind of tiptoeing. I'm tiptoeing with my up pick because I don't have many strings that I'm dealing with. I don't need a full strum. Okay, now, if this is a concept that feels awkward to you, break it down by muting everything with your left hand and just playing rhythms with your right hand. You know, make things up just like you were playing air drums to one of your favorite songs. Uh, you just want to get used to really smacking the strings rhythmically and not dropping the pick. I tend to use this part of the pick and not this part. 
Uh, I just always have. I like for the pick to be an extension of my finger. Um, now, if I want something, now this part is tougher. It's, it's a little bit more, um, it's thicker. So if I want something a little bit thinner, I just flip it around and play like this. I'm constantly rotating this as I need it, okay? So again, this is a Dunlop 60. I like using picks that, again, are an extension of my finger. Um, and this is very, it's not too hard or too heavy and it's not too flimsy. So, then once you kind of start getting a feel with your right hand and you're just muting, then add one note in. I'll just keep the note pushed down. Now, I'm gonna push that note, um, push the string down to the neck and let it up. Watch how my right hand isn't changing. My right hand is just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And my left hand is pushing the note to engage with the neck. I watch people trying to play their rhythm, trying to chase rhythm, like... Uh, Instead of Notice how my right hand never really changes. It's just down up, down up, down up, down up. I start really mapping out my rhythm pattern by engaging the strings with the neck of the guitar. I don't take my fingers off the string, so it's because I, I don't want the noise ringing through. Okay, so that takes us from left and right hand muting, being able to play the flat tire where it's an up down, up down, where it's that shuffle feel, to getting more and more control with the pick, to where now we can start thinking about something that's funky. <laughs> secret kind of behind all of that is being able to mute with your left and right hand. Now, notice my right hand, once I go into that kind of, you know, where my right hand doesn't stop, I am not muting with my right hand at all. Once I, you know, really start. Here's the rhythm. Totally driven by my right hand. What's allowed through the gatekeeper is my left hand. So work with that. A whole lot can come from this. And when we move into the performance section, I'm going to show you these things in real time, how they're really applied, all of the concepts that I've just um, laid out, rhythm and lead. Um, you're going to see these applied in these songs in real time. That's when they start really kind of like, ah, the aha moments I think really will start happening. But for now, these are individual concepts to be practiced. And as you practice them, let them go. And if you practice them well, then they'll show up in your playing. And you'll start seeing in these performance pieces how they show up, okay? So let's move on and see how these things are put into play. <laughs> 